I am back in North Carolina and I am very sad about that. I was in San Diego from Wednesday afternoon until early Friday afternoon and I had a great time. So, what were they doing there? I was at the CSUN 31st Annual International Technology and Person with Disabilities Conference. It is a mouthful, I know, I know. I know. So that conference is in San Diego. As far as I know, it's always been in San Diego. It was nowhere near LA and nowhere near Northridge. I know people got confused and thought I was coming to the school, but that wasn't the case. I was always going to San Diego and that's why I always mention San Diego. So I got the opportunity to co-present with Google about captioning on YouTube basically. Our presentation was called Captions and Subtitles at YouTube. So we can backtrack to exactly how I got the gig in the first place. I knew last year that my face was posted in a presentation. I don't remember what the presentation was. I don't know who hosted it. I wish I knew. If anybody knows a year later, please tell me because I don't know. I just knew my face was mentioned or my name was mentioned and my face was shown. So last year when I was at VidCon doing my workshop, Lights, Camera, Caption, I saw that two people from Google were there and one of them I connected with instantly. His name is Anuraj and we had kept in touch since then. So in January he asked me if I was going to the conference and I said no because well flying their hotel food all of that the conference itself is very very expensive it all adds up and then about a month or so later he asked me if I was interested in it and I was like uh yeah you mean you're inviting me out here and he goes it has to be approved by Google first but I think you have a really good shot at this and lo and behold I made it there. One year my face is just there in pictures and the other year later I'm actually there standing on my own two feet. And my face was also on a screen. But So I had two presenters with me, uh, Liat Kava who is a product manager at Google and then Anuraj who I just talked about. They got covered more about the general things about captioning, why it was important, and the ways that you can caption. Stuff I've already covered on YouTube on my channel. And then Anuraj talked mostly about crowdsourcing and why that's helpful. I also made a video on that which you can view somewhere here if I can find a video clip of it. If not, it'll be in the info box. And my part was a little more personal. I just talked about myself. I uh, talked about how I use captions. I talked about how the online community, both hearing and deaf, can help bring awareness to captioning and crowdsourcing and all of that. Because Google and YouTube can give all the tools, but what good is having the tools if nobody knows about them. And that was pretty much it. Each of us took about 10 minutes and then we had a QA and a and it was awesome. It, it went by way too fast. I'm used to presentations that are 45 to an hour and a half long. So I learned a lot. I went to one other presentation that wasn't mine. I wanted to go to more, but practice and one being canceled, it didn't happen. Fingers crossed that next year maybe that could happen. I made connections with some really cool people. I met people who already knew who I was. One teacher that showed my videos in schools. One person who, I don't know if she ever knew who I was, but we like made like an instant kind of friendship there. It was really really awesome. It inspired me so much. I uh, am now really really excited for the next step which is VidCon. At least that's the closest next step so far. Lights, camera captions will be happening again. So I've already been working on my presentation. I spent like all last night working on it and I just want to keep on working on it. I am I am so stoked. I, I want VidCon to happen now because I want to do it now. Also, Disabilities on YouTube panel is a thing at VidCon, so you might want to go there. I'll make a separate announcement video probably in May. We don't need to do that now. But yeah, I am very, very thankful to Anuraj, Liat, basically anybody else that was involved at Google for getting my butt over to the conference. It was amazing. It was a great opportunity. And I'm very grateful for that and I thank you a lot. Uh, and there was one question that was asked at the Q&A and that was, can Google make a button or something that viewers can click on to request to have creators turn on crowdsourced captions? And another person on Twitter, Michael Lockery, I think, we talked before, I remember. And if Google can figure out a way to just add 
crowdsourcing by default or to have the options turned on by default, I think that would be the most beneficial. Other people think that would be the most beneficial because having a request button could work. It would work, but I think it would save a little more time. It's just automatically having to get on there. Of course, people have to know the creators had to know that's a thing. So it's gotta be a way to make that known. Google and YouTube send out a summary email, a summarized email of all the fan subtitles that get sent in. So that is a way of them knowing. And because someone asked, well, how beneficial can that be because people can try to troll? Creators have to approve and review anything that gets sent in. And Google has these little machines that, you know, get captions running through the system and the machines could kind of flag any harmful slash inappropriate content that does not match up to whatever other captions may already be on there. So that's pretty interesting. Again, thank you Google for this opportunity. I hope we can maybe make this a thing next year because it would be awesome. I don't, we're nowhere near done and yeah. So I'll see you later, bye.